Good afternoon, everyone. It's yeah, behind the counter. Do that one again. What do you mean? That was like a grumpy, like disgruntled one. It's kind of wimpy. Like a pirate. Not like, really. Like, Arr, it's behind the counter. We're here. Uh, Maybe. Here. Ah. <laughs> a little better. You need any help? Yeah. Oh. Classic. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Behind the Counter, everyone. We're live here on Insane Games TV. Monday, July 18th, I think. Yes. Yep. Um, in true fashion, no surprise, we go live and someone's in here immediately looking for help. Mm -hmm. And this is how, how it goes around here. But, um, see, we had a couple weeks off from behind the counter. We're back at it. Yeah, it's good to be back. Anything back going on with you these days? I'm here. Motto. A lot of here, a lot of that is games. true. That's true. All in all, pretty fun though. Yeah, we got we got a few things um, starting to pick up a little bit. And um, see, Mike just doesn't leave them out there. See, I leave them out there. Like my Mike was gonna wait until every single one walks out. Like I, they're not at the counter. I walk away. Like that's where my patience is different than yours. I don't. I. I this day and age, I'm not. I, I don't babysit. I think what I usually do is, like, when I come in... Steve and I are watching, Mike, on the cameras here. We can see what we can see what's going on on the floor. Uh, here come, he's coming back now. So, like, when I would come in at 10, open the gate, turn on the computers, all that stuff, get everything looked at and edited quickly. If someone comes in, I go right out. I don't. They leave. I'm We're right talking out. about your critiqueness. And, and I said, oh, Mike's going to sit out there. And I go, I would just leave them. That's you. What? That's you, and you're known to be rude. Not really. <laughs> I'm known to save myself time and energy. Are you just so, sitting at the counter? No. They were looking for Tom Holland pops. Uh, I mean, that one that's in the case is technically Tom Holland. Uh, Toby McGuire and Andrew Garfield mixed together. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so we're just talking. We're back out of here behind the counter. Um... Nothing really new. Nothing really, you know. Nico's in here earlier. I haven't seen Nico in a while. He was in here doing a show or taping earlier. Good old Nico. For House Divided for later tonight. So I haven't seen him in a bit, so caught up with him. Um, really not much going on. That's what it's like in the summer. The summer is always a quiet time. You know, we're a month away from fantasy season. That's we're really what's been bubbling on the side. That, 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 that's starting to pop. So we're a month away from, like... Like being busy around here. Anytime the fall rolls in, it starts to get busy inside the store. Anyway, um, the summer is always always. I mean, I, who doesn't want to be outside? You know, it's hard. Than that. I know it's too hot. I really yeah, be outside. I like it in little doses. I don't like. It. <laughs> I mean, I my balls get all sweaty. Oh come on! <laughs> my break shopper run was just <laughs> so hot and not out. Well, Steve, look at look at the beard you got. Look yeah. at the hairdo you got. That, that, that whole face has got to be. Jeez. You, you, no, like, <laughs> you, 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 you got? Sometimes you got to be like in the summer. You just anything like that. All that gets you hot. You see, though, know, that requires effort. <laughs> and I, I like the beard. I like the hair. We I'm know. not going as long as it was before. Last time absurd. Steve shaved his beard, it was pretty absurd. Okay, but okay. <laughs> will, will you not say though when you shave your beard, you got a haircut? Did not feel good. Like you felt free. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Once no? you get used to it, it's like it's not even there. Yeah. It's almost weird when you shave it. Like you used to have the goatee at that one point. Yeah, for a while. Yeah. The goatee. And me and Steve were doing some Jeff Gordon research, and we saw that he also had the goatee. Not for long. <laughs> Two thousand five ish. We thought yeah. maybe that's where you got it from. No, I don't think so. Or we're reading a top ten list of the best mustaches and beards in NASCAR. Well, There's a actually a site video. for that. Surprisingly, that yeah. just, just NASCAR drivers they register the mustaches and the beards. Who would you say has the best mustache in NASCAR? Me and Steve already saw the list, so this is on. Dale Jarrett. Where was he? He was like 
Am I no? Am I get? Am I saying what I think or what I think number one is? Give us your top five, and we'll tell you how you ranked against that one. I mean, so. you got to throw in Jeff Gordon's. You got to throw in Richard Petty. You got to throw in Dale Earnhardt. You got to throw in Dale Jarrett. So you got one and two. I'm trying to think of who else is in NASCAR that had a couple. Those other guys were in the top. Ernie five. Irvin. I don't think he was. He on did there. have a beard. He wasn't there though. On the list. Um. I'm sure it's some old geezer that I don't even know about NASCAR. Like, 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 like no, David you, Allison. You got number David one Allison in was two. on there, yeah. I mean, <laughs> those people, I don't even know what they look like, so I wouldn't be able to guess what their, their, what their beards are. Uh, top ten goes, tenth is Jeff Gordon. Of course. Ninth yeah, is Dale Jarrett. Last. <laughs> uh, eighth is uh, Mike Helton, president of NASCAR. Uh, A couple of them were, like, CEO people. Uh, Tim Richmond was seventh. Who the hell is that? He was uh, the best Hendrick driver before Jeff Gordon. Mm. Wow, damn. Uh, so really not a popular and, driver. He was yeah. hugely popular, like rivaling Dale Earnhardt before he... But n- not much. What was his name? Tim Richmond. Yeah, but after... Okay, is that but Jeff a Gordon's higher. Terry Labonte's higher. Jimmy Johnson's higher. <laughs> uh, Kyle well. Larson, Chase. So really, in the, the day, he's not even in the top seven Hendrick drivers. So really, he's a nobody. You Steve never just know, said that he dead. rivals Dale Earnhardt. Oh, still... You can still talk mm-hmm. about his legacy. He's dead. <laughs> well, you hate to see it. Did he die during his career long? Yeah, after? it was during his career in 1989. So the stats got cut short. Uh, Terry Labonte was number six. Number five was... No, in the top five category. Robert Yates. Do you know Robert Yates? Yeah, <laughs> owner. Davey Allison, Richard Petty, Dale Earnhardt, and finally... Why Richard Petty twice? Richard Petty was number one, right? On the... Kyle Petty was number one. Ah. The only thing he's known for. He's not, he's, no, he's not known for a good NASCAR driver. Is that Johnny's favorite driver, Kyle Petty? Yeah. <laughs> o- only, beca- only, because, <laughs> only because of... Don't they make up the winningness the father and son duo? Not really. He, he, he only likes it. He only alone. likes it because <laughs> it rivaled Jeff Gordon. He barely rivaled Jeff Gordon. Yeah, but, that, but my point is, he could spin an argument to win. No, no. Johnny Kyle likes it because the guy is Jeff. probably one of the. He, he's a he's <laughs> troll likes him. He's by far the worst NASCAR driver to ever go through NASCAR. <laughs> That's Steve. Not true. Okay, Kyle Petty is, is a nobody. He almost won the nineteen ninety two championship. What what place did he get? Uh, he was like within fifty points in sixth. So there's four other guys ahead of him that could have won. Well, it was uh, Bill Elliott, Davy Allison, Alan Kowicki, Kyle Petty, I think Dale Earnhardt, Mark Martin. And in the end, Alan Kowicki, nineteen ninety two champion. Alan Kowicki. Where was he when did he retire? Kyle Petty? No, Alan Kowicki. Uh, 1993, he also died. Jeez. Racing? Uh, helicopter crash. Ooh, hate to see it. The Kobe style. Uh, him and On his way to the track? Yes. Him and Davey Allison, both within months. Separate aviation accidents. So Fine, no like joke. Sometimes great mustache ends in tragedy. Let that be a lesson, Dan. Mm-hmm. No, odd <laughs> statement, but... <laughs> well, we went into this list of mustaches, and it seemed like many of them went in tragic ways. I guess so. Other than good old Jeff Gordon. <laughs> and Richard Petty. That's He's true. still around. Um, I, I, how do we even get on this subject? <laughs> <laughs> how did uh, we get on this? Oh. Steve's talking about how hot it is, and me saying maybe his, his face being engulfed with hair mm-hmm. makes him. I mean, it's also wicked humid out, so that doesn't help it. It definitely does not. Fucking sucks. And Dan's playing games with the goddamn thermostat. No, not really. It's <laughs> called. I, I've issued the memos. No, 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 no cooler than seventy-two. It is not. It is. Are you not freezing right now? Back here, you seem to. Just acknowledge it that it's way fucking colder back here than it is out there. That's not the point. That is the point because the people out there have the power of the thermostat and it's fucking hot it's out there. It's not the point. <laughs> the point is it does not need to be 70 in here. We want we, we want That's years. That's a big difference. No, 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 One no, no. degree is makes us all happy. We want years. <laughs> Almost 10 years. 
And mm. that little store over there in the firm was a much smaller space. Doesn't to be matter. Cooled. Really? With all the electronics going on, there was a fucking sweat box in there, and you know it. Mm. You know it, pal. All those fluorescent I would turn light bulbs. It down as well. Those lights were beaming so goddamn bright. <laughs> Between the light bulbs and the systems, that store was getting up. We we never had to run the heat. All the cool air goes out of that side of it. Half the store entrance, pretty much half the storefront was half the you entrance. You play this little game if you like, but... I'm not playing a little game. <laughs> and the reality is, we've gone 10 years at a temperature of 72, and during those 10 years, the temperature, the thermostat was never moved. The times have changed. Everyone no. is tired of that now. We now have two AC units. We, we now have two powerful AC units, and we're playing this game where it's got to be 70. I don't think so. We're done with that, those times. 72. No. Mm-hmm. No. It's not Auschwitz. <laughs> I am literally freezing right now. I'm, I'm literally freezing. And it's, it is probably wicked hot out, and it's, it's freezing in here. Well, I'm wearing pants, and you're wearing shorts. That's not Short the point. Shorts. The point is, you have a hot, 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 hot day. You should, you should be accustomed to feeling a little bit of heat everywhere you go. No. Not when you're indoors. At the place of relaxation. Not really. <laughs> so we can continue. A place of relaxation is at home in your room where you can control the temperature at your own will. <laughs> Here, that's not how it is. It's not you're absolutely comfortable everywhere you go and everyone must adjust to it. Oh. Uh, Mike's here. We make, we make sure we got to adjust to make sure well, he's That's kind of what you're doing because everybody likes it around 70, but then when you come in, you want it warm. It's not warm. It's kind of bullshit. No, no, no. <laughs> what my point is, even first off, I'm freezing. No, correction. I'm freezing right now, and it's at 72. You know, hmm. What I could do is I you have just that changed it. To 72. Water air conditioner thing in the back I can bring out for us. See that hunk of shit ain't doing nothing. Okay. <laughs> you leave it right in the. You leave it right in your office. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't been sitting in my office for too long. That thing gonna pump out little air as you go over. See, there's all powerful these powerful air thing. See, there's all oh, these nice. little devices and these little things that, that that are just like I don't get it. Where do you find all these knickknacks? Well, I actually got from Walmart a couple years ago. You want to talk about his uh, keypad? What about Is it? Is that a sensitive subject or the mouse pad? Oh yeah, <laughs> the mouse pad that I. Was told was in my in that drawer. Was it not in the drawer? It was in the drawer, <laughs> and it's right back where it belongs. <laughs> Where's that? Right under that mouse in the back. Who took? I I don't think I took it off the other computer, did I? Yeah, it was right before your meeting. And you wanted to turn it on <laughs> to make it look cool. <laughs> and I couldn't. I couldn't move the mouse because the wire was getting stuck on that big thing that's there. That's a wireless mouse, though. But, but Steve, a mouse pad is just a mouse pad. We don't, we don't need to have cords attached to the mouse pads and lights. Not everything needs to be high-end, cool, and, and, and cord. Oh, right. there, there's an idea of cordless. There's an idea of cord-free. I got rid of the cord that's there. Now it's just the mouse pad, and it still looks pretty cool. What did you do with the cord? Did you cut it off? That's a good question. It's like a removable cord. Uh, yeah. But what's the cord for? To make it light out? Yeah. Pretty well. It is. <laughs> Not necessarily. It adds a cord. When you're trying to, you got to make sacrifices when you're building a PC setup. Do you want the lighting or do you want to be cord free? A lot of people say, I don't want cords. Well, that's, that's how it works, here. pal. It's not the choice, though. I mean, the better mice and keyboard are wired. I agree. I don't. Really, I'm not a big wireless fan. I like. I like the wired mouse and the wired keyboard. But he yeah, has broken many wireless mice. <laughs> like the one that I put back there. Is it back there? Yeah. Is it's it on the computer there. working? It works just fine. Where is it? It's I don't think that's the one I threw. Oh no, the red one you threw. Where is that? I think oh, it, it got it. tossed. I think it did end up being destroyed. I have zero <laughs> tolerance. Zero tolerance for computer mice that, that that lag. Whatever happened to that big cool one that we got with the PC? Both way in the back. One. Oh, that's the one I'm using in my office. Okay, okay. Where did you find that? In the back. Let's keep an eye on. <laughs> See, goes searching the back for little things he can use. Well, at least it's in use because that was a nice mouse. So. It's like an eighty. It's like a hundred dollar mouse. It's wicked expensive. I can bring it right back out here if you like. No, I don't. Dan know. doesn't I, deserve it. It's a bulky, <laughs> big ass thing that I have no interest in using. You'd get angry with it, and it'd probably get broken. 
all the little pieces and the buttons just flying <laughs> on the side. <sighs> it is true. Um, what else do we have to talk about? Ooh. It hasn't really been too crazy. The store is busy the last couple of days. I heard there's a, from what, the rumor there's a new candy store in the mall. <laughs> We were going into some deep discussions right before we went live about the candy store. Now, let me tell you something. You bring yourself up to harsh, harsh criticism because I am a candy, uh, <laughs> what do I want to use? Uh, nah, candy connoisseur. <laughs> I am like, I, I specialize in candy. I know which ones are good, which ones are bad. I know everything about candy. So when I walk in there, I'm going to be able to sum this place up real quick. And it's either going to be, now, if I was opening a candy store, okay, Danny Wonka, okay, <laughs> if you walked into my store and I was Danny Wonka, I would have, what, what, what was one thing that you would want in a candy store? Mm, milk duds. I still haven't gotten those at the store supplies. I'm pretty upset about them. Mm -hmm. Milk dogs are teeth jammers, right? We didn't but put those in here. It's worth it. The it's problem the is, I love candies. milk dogs, and when you have one, <laughs> you can't stop eating them. And I like the problem one is, they the are world. absolute teeth killers. Milk duds. We could probably check down there. For the oh, they got them. I'm sure. So that's check mark number one. <laughs> when I go to a candy store, it's all about the experience. <laughs> I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna sell candy that I can easily go buy somewhere else. It's about identifying yourselves as a different concept. I would go back to the bag and mix. You know what that? No, know what that's called? Is that when it's all out? You go in, in, you grab a goddamn bag, and you mix whatever the fuck you want to put in it. And then you guess what? You weigh it. When you're done, and that's how much you pay. You want milk duds? Mm -hmm. You put those milk duds in there. You want licorice? You put that licorice in there. That you want runs? Stale. You want what? That candy gets stale and COVID covered. Nobody wants those these it's days. It's called a handle. Okay. You don't touch it. They still get stale. No, they don't. And you don't think someone's going <laughs> to when they no, open it up? No, you lift it up. <laughs> you put it in the bag. That's and what you'll over. do, but there's people you can't trust. Someone will definitely scoop their hand in there. That is what Oops, makes a candy store one. right there. I have a funny feeling one. this is gonna be. I have a funny feeling this is gonna be boxed candy, and yeah, no one is. Boxed. No one's buying boxed candy anymore. They, they are the worst valued candy to buy. Why is that? Why is that? Yes. Because just go buy a bag of Skittles. It's more. What's the difference? What? What are you saying? Boxed candy? What's wrong with boxed? Now candy? these days you just go to Walmart, and Target, and grab the big bag of candy, and it's two thirty nine a bag. Or it's one ninety nine a bag. Over there, I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. So, what do you think the prices of that candy over there? Mm, I bet you. Those Dave said it was a good deal. I bet you. Oh, Dave, Dave thinks everything's a good deal. Okay, when I walk in there he and bought, I met, I think he said a Mamba and a Charleston Chew, and it was three dollars. Uh, when I walk in Total. there, if those box candy, and I'm gonna chew the guy up when I go there, okay, I'm gonna be real, real. You guys might not want to walk in. And I'm going. There, I'm gonna say, Are you seriously selling box candy for this price? You won't jam them. I'll go to Target and I'll <laughs> get my candy. You wouldn't. Get First it. off, I got my own candy stash back here. I don't need that candy down there. You might find something one could that... argue we have what he should be selling down there. The thirty-six pack I of Eminem. You just said you wanted... The thirty-six pack of Skittles. You're all the over 42 the forty-two pack of Milk Duds I... or Milky Ways and Snickers and Reese's and Kit Kat. You just had a Starburst and a Kit Kat. You just said you, you wanted to be different. You definitely can't get down there. You said you wanted to no, have no, your no. own identity and different. If I was opening a candy store, this isn't <laughs> Danny Walker. This have isn't all... Danny Walker <laughs> over there. That's Insane Game TV cafeteria. Okay. There's a complete difference. <laughs> so you're, in one end, you're saying they shouldn't have, but another end, you're trashing them for not having that stuff. I know what. You're saying that they should not carry all the stuff like Hershey's. Snickers, oh no, they Kit should Kats, have all Reese's. that. But they should have it in its different portions. What do you mean, different portions? Okay. Let me explain it to you. You can go in, you can buy the little bag of candy. You know what I'm talking about? The one you've been, you've been munching on. Those are like $2. Okay? The next step up is the box. Box is like this. It's a little bit more than the bag. Okay? But it's like three times the price. The next step up is when you go and you have the candies on the peg hooks. You know what I'm talking about? You pull off the candy from the peg hooks at the store, and it's the bigger bag, it's like that big, yeah. and the candy's like up, filled that much. That's a step up from the bag, <laughs> step up from the box, okay, and it's a good value. That's like the $1.99 to like 4 bucks at Walmart Target. This 
guy down here, I'm betting you, he's going to have the box. He can go buy the boxes anywhere. He can go to Walmart and buy six boxes and fill himself up right back up. I bet that's what he's doing. What's the big deal where he gets his inventory if he supplies it to the people? The question is going to be, Mike, the question is going to be is what's the price? And when I walk in there and he tells me that box of candy is $3, I'm going to go, yeah! <laughs> Adios, pal! I'm going to go over to the newsstand. Three boxes, your ye point. Oh, one can say even a little bit less than that. Really, 250 he's pushing a ye. <laughs> I am now very curious to go over there and see what they're working with. And you don't think I'll say ye in front of them? <laughs> I will 100% say ye! This guy's going to put you in your place, pal. And you might even like it. That's probably what you're afraid of. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I have high hopes for He's it. He's going to be a Danny regular customer there. Did you guys get those new mambas yet? <laughs> Please. I did say the mamas are pretty good. They were, though. I did finish them off. I didn't know whose they belonged to. Dave donated them to the cause. Well, I finished them off. You get three different flavors when you get there. Have you ever fucked with the mamas? Well, oh, I've had a mamba before, Mike. So you're you need to break, break it down, down to you about the mamas? Oh, I've had a mambas. <laughs> they're, 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 those ones are, normally, the mamas are very they're tricky. They're very hard normally, right? Yeah, they, they're very the hard ones normally. Were very they soft, weren't, yeah. which made them very good. Well, let me tell you something. Going down there and getting a pack of mambas that are very, very chewy. That's a good sign. It's great. When you walk down and get a mamba and they're absolutely stale as hell, you never want a mamba again. I don't think it's they up to the candy. They still taste good no matter the texture. Mm, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they just suck to chew on at that point. The paper gets stuck to them. It stinks. Was it still raining out when you went out? No. But either way, that's a good sign of the candy's freshness if... I don't know about that. He probably they just bought it all. Just they just open. open? Yeah. I would hope it's fresh. <laughs> if they just open. Well, if he gets it from Walmart, like you say. Oh, he gets it from Walmart, <laughs> if I had to guess. <laughs> yeah, something so maybe we'll do a video and post it on Instagram. When we walk out, maybe I'll tape up something and we'll post it on Instagram. What? Steve doesn't think like that's it. That's a good idea. What's not a good idea? What? Well, well, that store. would be just Dan. First off, it. you gotta let me tell you something. If I opened a store, Steve if I like it. Let, let me let me explain something to you. People got face. You don't think we face criticism in here all the time when video game collectors walk in here and go, "Yay!" They walk out of here and they go on your YouTube videos and they post about well, it. Yes. Do you like it when people? I'm a candy you master. <laughs> I, I I should be giving. I should be. Maybe my new thing now is to walk into candy stores and, and, and evaluate them, and start saying, hmm, "Good deal, not good deal." Well, maybe if you've had a long career of doing that. Oh, right I've now, had a long career of eating as candy. Of right pal. now, you're a no name. A long candy career. <laughs> One could say. I could tell you what we were selling at our concession stand ten years ago. <laughs> Okay, I know candy in and out. That's because you don't have an interesting selection there. What do you mean? You have a, just what you said. You just have the. You think anyone's going to tell me that knows me? That well, you think if someone, if you were to line up everyone that knows me, <laughs> and say one, give off one thing that Dan likes. You don't think candy, 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 candy. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that I like candy. I don't think that's true. Oh, I think one hundred percent true. <laughs> yeah, there's still no milk duds at the concession stand or the store. And it's they will not get milk duds. Fucking absurd. Now I'm about to go down there and purposely do a review. <laughs> Steve isn't behind Steve's you. Steve's going to be know like, I, I ain't either. doing it. I ain't holding the camera. <laughs> Steve, you hold the camera. <laughs> Maybe okay, so what if I give a fair review? We'll see you how the fair review goes. You're baiting them. <laughs> I, I'll do it's a fair, fair review. <laughs> I'm not, I, I'll be nice about it. I won't say anything too mean, but I'll be fair. If I'm going like, to walk in, I'm going to like the place. I don't think I will, but I, mean, I think I'm going to walk in, I'm going to like the place. So he knows nothing about the place yet. He's already super negative about it. It is in the old sunglass spot, so it looks basically like that store, but with candy all over it. That's a nice looking store. They should do well there. If I was opening a candy store, though, I would want to do it in a mall with a movie theater, but that's just me. Yeah. Because then they Wouldn't go everyone. Then and in they... most malls, there is a movie theater. Because <laughs> then they go all buy your candy and they sneak it into the theater. Well, it would be nice to have a Dave and Buster's here, but... 
Man, we really can't have nice things, can we? See, Steve's insulting. <laughs> I can't insult. Steve's insulting them all. And I can't insult the video game. Or the, He's insulting the big guy. You're insulting the little guy. I, let me tell you. But you got to be open to that. If I open it, you, so if you open a video game store in an area for the first time, you don't think people are coming and judging it? Oh, yeah. And you don't think this day and age of people YouTube show, they don't go on there and they... You should have a topic. I don't know. As a they, business owner... No, no, no. As a business owner, you got to be ready to go for, at all times to be to, to, for, for evaluations. I don't know how often someone's going to go outside of my store and make a little Instagram post about it. Oh, I'll walk away from it. <laughs> I won't do the video right in front of them where you hear what I say. But I'll walk away from it. But I, I do think an analysis should happen. And may, hey, maybe I'll help the guy. Maybe he'll learn. Maybe I'll walk into this is what I think you need to order. Hit the road, Jack! <laughs> Buddy, I've been peddling candy for 30 years. You can fuck yourself. I don't know. I would I would hold my own in a candy argument. <laughs> I would break down numbers and and I break down the size of the candy portions. You wouldn't have any idea what's going on. Oh, really? You're trying to push the boxes on people. <laughs> the cheap one. <laughs> the one that's only slightly bigger than the little bag of candy, but you're charging three times the amount. People got to make money, Dan. Yeah. Is that not the case? Not my money. <laughs> Just like we see what what's his face is doing over there in the newsstand with the Red Bulls. <laughs> Highway robbery. That's why we have a stash of Red Bulls back here now. I ain't paying five dollars a can. Yeah, his, his prices are a little high on that. They're store. outrageous. Everything else is pretty normal. You can go in and buy a can of Red Bull at, at a at a gas station for two fifty. You walk over to this guy, it's five bucks. I bought this one from uh, Mark Thirty Two for at least something. Now walk over and see how much that is over there. Probably like four seventy five. Four, it's at least five. That's the fifteen ounce, right? The twelve ounce? Twelve ounce. Yeah. It's definitely five something over there. I don't know about that. Oh, I know about it, pal. I think it used to be five for two. Like five fifty for two of them. And that's what you're thinking about. Hey, right, let's move on, because I want to go look at the candy store after this. <laughs> before we have to run the before high five starts. Hi-fi. Um and other big news, boater potty mouth. <laughs> is this an issue we have to address? I don't think it's an issue we have to address more so than a funny observation. So what you do here? I just have been tuning in, and he gets very frustrated with some games once in a while, and then he lets it rip. <laughs> <laughs> and when I see boater, I didn't expect that kind of language from him. But what, what, like, what, what type of language is being said? I can't repeat it. It's too absurd. <laughs> No, just the f bombs, angry f bombs, stuff like that. Ah, oh, so the normal stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But him, I didn't see him having that sort of rage like he had this time. <laughs> I mean, Astral Chain is just not a good game. He was playing a uh, Fallen Order. Ah. Uh, which is a good game. One hard could one. say an easy game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was having an extremely hard time. The boss he was fighting is probably the hardest boss in the game, so I will give him that. But. I think I saw like a couple different shifts of where he was streaming and he was fighting that boss. And at this point, he was just getting. He even had in his title SFW language. <laughs> and so when I see Boater, I think of him as a very like, smart guy. So to him, using that kind of language was surprising to me. I'm not surprised. <laughs> You're not surprised? No. <laughs> I like it. Don't get me wrong. I thought it was funny content, but. Um. Where are we on the um, CJ Playmakers Mario Kart League? Oh, it's still in motion. What's that mean? <laughs> We're waiting on the next wave of Mario Kart DLC. What does that matter to you? I said I'm going to participate in this you upcoming season. You sold your season. Switch. That means nothing that I sold my <laughs> Switch. I'll just go buy another Switch. You won't be able to find any. They're all out. Oh, they're the everywhere store. now. They're everywhere, pal. Making Steve nervous, shifting in his chair over there. He thought the threat was gone. I'm going to toss Steve around. <laughs> be fair, I haven't touched Mario Kart since the last time. He I threw him off. Play. Now he's going to start practicing. Steve yeah. should be. Steve should not be worried about Mario Kart. Steve should be worried about the go kart track. Oh, okay. I'm not worried about that. Oh, you better be, pal. You better be. Because you something. haven't seen anything on the go kart track like me yet. <laughs> I am vicious on the go kart track. You're in my way, you'll be in the wall. <laughs> and I don't care if I get the warning from the people, the no bumping. <laughs> I look right at him and I go, 
<laughs> I'm looking right at you too, pal. <laughs> You'll get kicked out. No, I won't. I've been kicked out before. <laughs> And then you'll be done for the uh, There's year. no threat. There's no scaring me when the, when the when those guys stand up on the tires and they go. I mean, when they kick you out, that's a loss by default. That's true, too. Oh, I know how to play dirty without being seen. <laughs> Don't you worry. Don't me what about the Tony Stewart line. <laughs> Don't make Uncle Tony mad. <laughs> I have every dirty trick in the book, and I know... I'm just unstoppable on the go-kart. You're just not going to beat me in the go-kart. There's got to be... First off, there's got to be a way... If we did a go-kart race, we would have to time it out where we're the only ones on the track. You have to rent it out? Just we, to we're we're gonna, we would have to... We would have to work like out a deal. I in there sometimes, too. We would have to, I'm not saying we rent it out, but we would have to say, hey, can we get a half an hour to use the track? It would probably have to be at nighttime, which I actually prefer night racing, to be honest. Yeah. And and we, we, we get to track and I don't know how you do, like the problem with the the problem with the one car the one track that I like is that some cars have different speeds than the other which I think is a little bullshit. You could get a car that's wicked fucking slow that has no determination on your driving and just a slow ass car and that could change the whole tune of your racing. But if Dan gets the good car, then that's no longer a reasonable factor. <laughs> I think no no I think you should be allowed to test drive your car before you go. And say that's the car I want. That see the back in the day, you ever been to the fun spot up in Queensbury? Not in a long time. That's the go kart track that I, I I'm accustomed to. It's a nice track. They have I a lot, they the used it up there. What? I prefer the other one up there, Adventure Family Fun Center. The good mm. go kart track. Steve <laughs> is always the opposite. Always, he's always the advocate for the other <laughs> side. Okay, well, this one had, they had, like, the Pepsi car, the NSA battery. They actually had, like, logos on their cars. I think now they got rid of them. They can't, I think they couldn't have them or something. Um, but we would have to rent it out. It would have to be a solid race. The question is, who's on the race? Who's in the race? Well, I'd have to be out there. So you would have Dan. Dan, Mike, Steve, Steve Dave, Boater, Tom. Mike. <laughs> Tom probably would. Maybe Nico if he has the mustache. <laughs> Only if he has the mustache. Days. So there's six. So who am I not? Who am I not adding? In? I oh you know I cannot wait to. This is a perfect group of people. <laughs> See, I'm gonna go right. I know the people I'm gonna go right after. <laughs> they may tell you I have no tolerance being behind on the track, and I'm gonna push out of my way instantly when I get there. It would be Mike. I would have no tolerance for Mike being in front of me. I, I would push Mike into the wall so goddamn quickly, you, he wouldn't know what happened. Dave, I would I would be right up Dave's ass in the go-kart track. I'm one of those guys, too. That I'm on you. I will ride all the way. I just keep get, I push you all the way. You can't even control your own car because I'm pushing you from behind. That's how bad I am. I and then when you go into the turn, out. I take my turn. I cut my turn. I slam it right into the wall. I'm vicious, Steve. You better be ready. I mean, if you have to use dirty tricks to win, are you really that good? Oh, I'm dirty. Don't don't we worry about that. Not, not only am I good, I know how to be dirty to get the win. Dave, you ain't cheating. You ain't trying this. Uh... So who else would have to be on there? Who do you Nico, have so maybe. Far? We could do Nico. Only if he has the stash. That part's important, Dan. We could do Jackson. <laughs> Did you see his new tattoo, by the way? No. Pretty absurd. I'd have to see it. But I, 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 I'm not scared of anyone on here. I'm not scared of Nico. I'm not scared of Dave. I'm not scared of Boater. I would love to go ahead to have a Boater and go karts. You're not afraid of Tom. I'm not. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not scared. Tom. Tom's Tom really. Would bully you Tom anyway. knows my antics. So he's the only one I would have slight concern with. <laughs> not concerned with Mike. Not concerned with Steve. <laughs> Steve, like, grew up on the track. I think he might be in a surprise. I think we would have to do, like, two or three races. I think the first race, whoever wins, the second race, they start last. So whoever gets last starts first. But don't you get to go first when you win? No, but the whole point is reversing the order. You know what I mean? But that's not how NASCAR works. No, but that's how I think it would be fair for us. Yeah. But that's not how NASCAR works. I mean, we I could do that. time trials <laughs> if we really wanted to. SRX You have to that. get the pole. Do that, I think I the first I the first race rules. should be off of time trials. But if you're really <laughs> fucking good, I would love starting last. I'll go right through the whole group of people. Sometimes when you start out first, you don't get to race anyone because you're so good. And just, that's the way Dan's it is. just going to get spun out by some little girl in a Mickey Mouse car. We're not going to allow other people. It was GPS racing. Because you're scared of them. 
I, I would I, no, first I love racing with other people because I love smashing them around. The problem is when you race with other people, you can't all start together. That's the problem. When I start way up in the front and there's 30 people back with Steve is, how is that fair? If we go and we wait for the line to clear, we'd probably be fine. We just have to wait a little bit longer and say we'll you just want go this. with the schedule time when they're just said we want this whole group to go together. We'll so. pay a fee. We want to race it. We want unlimited laps. <laughs> Unlimited laps. Okay, more than five that they put on there. Okay, and we would have to we would have to have a couple people there recording. It's got to be recorded. It's true for it's content true. purposes, obviously. Just give a camera to each one of the guys that does this. <laughs> <laughs> got to get the bump cam. <laughs> hey, hey. All right, we got anything else? We got thirteen minutes. That'll be enough time to run over to the candy store before high five goes live. And get back. It's candy store time. Let's get rid of these shits because these things disappoint me. Right. We'll talk about those later. That's a, that's a whole nother conversation. I can reach them. I smack them. It's too far. Someone was looking for Ghostface. So I don't know if we sold it. Maybe we'll sell them at the Comic Cons. <laughs> ah, that's it for this episode. Behind the counter, we have the no. Oh my God, no look. We have high five up next. We have House Divided tonight. Danny NASCAR, no look, and Monday Night Gaming. So a lot of shows today. Awesome. So um, until next time, until next week, adios.